The BCCI's dirty war has now gone public with the cricket board's bosses engaging in an open, ugly war. BCCI's secretary Anurag Thakur has written an open letter to the ICC chief after being accused by, by the International Cricket Council CEO of meeting an alleged bookie. Thakur, without naming Srinivasan's son-in-law, Gurunath Mayappan, claimed that if the ICC chief must share information on bookies, then it should be with his family members who have proven links with bookies. Anurag Thakur mounted a blistering attack on N. Srinivasan and claimed that the ICC, controlled by him, is using unverified information. He also accused Srinivasan of not being able to reconcile to his election as the BCCI's secretary. Earlier, a fresh controversy hit the Board of Control of Cricket in India after ICC CEO Dave Richardson warned BCCI of Thakur's alleged link with a bookie. And this is making big, big headlines in India. The ICC has written to BCCI, drawing its attention to the secretary, board secretary, the gentleman you see on your television screen, Anurag Thakur, allegedly socializing with a suspected bookie. This is the allegation. Anurag Thakur says this is unverified. He's been quoted as saying that this is unverified. But this ICC letter that is dated the 22nd of April, it's addressed to Jagmohan Dalmia of the BCCI and it says that the BCCI secretary after being elected as the BCCI secretary was seen socializing with an alleged bookie whose name finds a mention in the ICC's anti-corruption and security unit list of suspected bookies. Now this mail st states that the anti-corruption and security unit of the ICC received unverified information. So Anurag Thakur insists that this information is unverified. Joining me now is our consulting editor, Cricket, Boria Majumdar. Boria, this is an open BCCI war being fought through ICC or is this diversionary tactics? The story that headlines today broke about the undervaluation of the Chennai Super Kings team. Is this diversionary tactics? No, no, this is not diversionary tactics, Gaurav. This is open war between uh, the BCCI, uh, now the BCCI dispensation, which is united against Mr. Srinivasan. There are two points to it. Let me explain. One, yesterday the working committee was about to go for CSK and Mr. Srinivasan. They were about to criticize and take CSK and Mr. Srinivasan head on. And leading that charge in the working committee was Anurag Thakur. So this was clearly a tactic on the part of Mr. Srinivasan to ensure that media attention is distracted by suddenly putting out this information of, uh, you know, Anurag Thakur with a bookie. So that was, that, that was, I mean, the timing was extremely fishy. Speaking to Anurag Thakur on the sidelines of the working committee meeting and to a number of BCCI members in Calcutta, they were, all of them were telling me that look at the timing of this email. And yes. who was it copied to? Three people. N. Srinivasan, Dave Richardson and Jagmohan Dalmia, nobody else. So here, and the tweet of Anurag Thakur is more significant, Gaurav, where he's saying that Mr. Srinivasan should inform his family members who love betting. So it is a clear Absolutely, fact war yes. against, against uh, uh, Mr. Srinivasan, led by Anurag Thakur and the BCCI dispensation. Let me also tell you that yesterday's meeting, only one person, Bharat Raman, who was representing Tamil Nadu Cricket Association, spoke in favor of Mr. Srinivasan. Not a single member of that working committee said anything in support of CSK or Mr. Srinivasan. Now, this wasn't taken up, uh, you know, in that working committee meeting, as you pointed out. Uh, was this slated to be taken up? And is this allegation against Anurag Thakur meeting this alleged bookie, is this unverified or is there evidence? No, no, this was not even part of the agenda. I mean, so there is no question of this being taken up at all, Gaurav, because this was an email that was sent to Mr. Dalmia and it was leaked, selectively leaked to the media yesterday by the ICC. Now, automatically, you can understand the timing of this email and everything else. Yes. So there was no question that this would be raised. Having said that, this was discussed. This was discussed on the sidelines. Members were imputing motive. Members were suggesting that why is the timing so fishy? So they had a discussion among themselves and having spoken to a number of BCCI members who one cannot name on air, you know, one can tell you that they were extremely livid about the timing of this e email and only sort of was saying that this is a dirty game that is being played out there and you can see Anurag's response 
This is a concerted, aggressive response on the part of the BCCI. I can tell you, he spoke to the BCCI president at 3 p.m. this afternoon. He told Mr. Dalmia that he's sending this letter out and he wants to make it public to the media. He informed the president and then he went ahead with it at about 4.15. So it's been a conscious effort on the part of Anurag Thakur and the BCCI okay. to take this matter head on. Okay, now this is a letter uh, which is dated the 24th. Uh, there hasn't been a response, uh, dated the 22nd of April. There hasn't been a response from the BCCI to the ICC. Uh, is, is there more to it than meets the eye? No, this, there will be a response now because the letter has been sent, as I said, there, it was... You know, uh, while the letter is dated 22nd, it actually, the email came yesterday. So, the timing is extremely interesting and Anurag Thakur's response, obviously now the BCCI will respond more formally because the uh, President and the Secretary of the Board spoke at 3 p.m. this afternoon where this response of Anurag Thakur was, the President was informed about this, that Anurag has taken serious exception to this. He's, he, he looks at it as an affront to his integrity and he's taking this matter up really seriously against Mr. Srinivasan because he thinks that this is a dirty game being played by Mr. Srinivasan to distract attention on the CSK undervaluation story because the CSK undervaluation has put him in a real spot and the entire working committee, at least one hour, was spent on that issue yesterday where Anurag Thakur, Shashank Manohar and the board members went, you know, hanan on tongs for CSK and Mr. Srinivasan. So this was an attempt to distract attention. One day later, you see this response from Anurag Thakur in consultation with the BCCI president. So it's now dirty linen being washed in open war. And as you can realize, Mr. Srinivasan is now absolutely cornered in the BCCI, of which he was czar about two months back. And this, this, in, this entire information about Anurag Thakur's alleged, allegedly meeting a bookie after his election as secretary of the BCCI, has the ICC been able to verify this information or are these just rumours that are now being circulated? No, this is interesting. If the, the, the important thing is, this is not new information. Anurag Thakur did not meet this guy last week or in the last one month. Anurag Thakur has been friends with this guy, as he says in the Punjab political circles. He says in his letter very clearly he was not aware that this guy is under the radar of the ACSU. So he's clearly stating this, that Mr. Srinivasan as head of the ICC, by the way, Please note that the ICC chairman is the head of the ACSU. The ACSU falls under the ambit of the ICC chairman. And from India, there is one person who is the member of the ICC ACSU, and that is Sundar Raman, who is also being investigated. So you clearly understand the political games being played out here, Gaurav, that Mr. Srinivasan, as head of the ICC, as chairman yes. and the head of ACSU, should have informed Anurag Thakur that this man is a suspected bookie, which wasn't done. For the longest time, it wasn't done. When Anurag Thakur was Joint Secretary, it wasn't done. So suddenly this matter comes to light on a day of the Working Committee meeting when Anurag Thakur is leading the charge against Srinivasan, CSK and Chennai Super Kings. So the timing was extremely interesting. And now this response, which clearly tells you that there is a lot more to this story in the coming few days. And Mr. Srinivasan and CSK will have a lot more to answer because the BCCI is not going to, under Anurag Thakur, which is not going to take this lying down and they'll go aggressively for CSK and this undervaluation issue. Oh, absolutely. Also joining me now is our managing editor Vinay Tiwari. And Vinay, Anurag Thakur is not taking this lying down. I mean, this is clearly being alleged to be a Srinivasan versus Anurag Thakur battle, which is now out in the open. That's correct, Gaurav. And I think Borea made a very important point about the timing of this all. Because remember, uh, as we've been pointing out, that this particular name on the ACSU list has been there for a while. Uh, and Anurag has, you know, being a politician, that he is pretty adept at turning tables. And he's turned the table now entirely on Srinivasan on how and why the list of these people, the new office bearers. And I think uh, it's more about politics than cricket. Uh, I think it's no secret, and Borea knows that better, uh, that the, pu the public persona of the modern day cricketer, especially the creating establishment, and with IPL coming in, the interaction between players, uh, semi-officials, middlemen, advertisers, Bollywood, film, everything has gone up to an extent where the interaction between, uh, you know, people who could be considered nefarious and those who are considered clean has become very thin. Uh, and in okay. a such a situation, uh, it becomes increasingly difficult for any ACSU unit, whether it's of the ICC or the BCCI, uh, you know, to keep politics out of it. And I think that's what is happening in this case, uh, Gaurav.